Hello, Athena Jezik here. I thought today I would show you something for the upper back that you can do at home. I did get an email the other day and somebody was telling me what was going on with the pain that she's had in the upper back. The problem that we have a lot with our upper back is we tend to round forward, you know, we're leaning forward, we're driving forward, our neck gets thrown forward. And so there's little things we can do that's very easy and it involves a towel and some books possibly. You might not even need the books. So what you do is you open this up. Uh, it's in threes here. So there's a third and then a third, which you can fold it in any way you want to, depending on the height you want, and then fold it in half again. And this little tiny bit of a raise is going to just help to arch that back a little bit and also put the spine in a little bit different position. And if you do it every day, you're going to notice some changes. It just sometimes feels good just to do it um, for anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, something like that. You don't want to do it for very long. Um, because, But it does give that little bit of a stretch, and it also opens up the sternum and the area, the heart chakra area a little bit because you're pulling yourself back, which is really good. So then we just do that and then you have these books here because of the placement of their head. If their head is tipping back or if your head is tipping back, then you want to level that head because you also want to make sure that your neck is being stretched upward and long so you're not crunching your neck while you're trying to arch you want to keep that straight it gives a longer length to those muscles so different sizes books it takes different sizes for that depending on how much the head is bending forward and how much of the arch is happening in your back so that your head has to keep leaning back farther in order to lay back on the head so with that I'm going to put Karina on the table and just show you how to place it so right about at the bottom of the scapula, where the scapulas are, you want to put this across there. And you can make it a little bit less bumpy or, you know, the fold smaller, or you can make the fold uh, larger if you just bunch up the towel a little bit more. But this is where we're going to start. It's not a big rise, but it's enough to really help that mid back, the thorax. Okay, and now you just lay down on it and then you'll feel. Now what you want to try to do is pull your shoulders so you're actually pulling the scapula downward and then just let it relax. How does that feel? Okay, and then the other thing you want to look for is do you see how her head is leaning back? And one of the things with this is you want to have that straight so, so, um, so that her chin, her neck, and this part of her, this part of her face is parallel with the wall. So in order to do that, because um, you can set a book or so underneath, which I have a couple books here. So we can put this book down underneath. And, and that way, we'll see how that goes. Now that's a perfect size. Uh, might be a little bit, still a little bit. Let's see, you want to have a big long stretch here because you want the neck to be lengthened. You don't want the neck to be squished because that's part of the problem with the um, with the, the upper back is when the neck gets pulled out of shape too. So we're gonna, I'm going to put another book in there and that's a little bit better. So then you've, she's got a nice stretch to the neck. So when you're doing this for yourself, just make sure that you feel the stretch like you're pulling your head up and, and having that nice stretch in the neck. So there we go. That's that one. And so you can lay there for 15 minutes, five minutes, whatever's comfortable. When you get up, you're going to feel kind of funny. But what that's going to do is it's going to take the back into a little bit of an arch. And so your muscles, you'll open up in the front part of your body as well. So all of this uh, around the heart chakra and all of that's going to be opened. The shoulders are nice and, and flattened down. There, it feels like the scapula is pulling it down. And the neck is nice and long. So that's one way to do this if you have this upper thoracic issue or you feel like you're just bending too much, you know, slumping forward from all of the computer stuff we do. And then the next way, so we'll have you sit back up. And then the next way you can do this is you keep the towel folded, 
but it goes along the spine. So you want it to be down at the sacrum and then bring it up to the neck and then lay down across there. Yeah. And this is going to open it up a little bit different way because this is going to open it more opening this way. Scapulas you want to pull down. You can feel how the scapulas are pulling down. Feel everything opening. And then again, we want to check the head to make sure that that's got the nice stretch. Um, and this part can get kind of under the neck. And then the books can go right there. The towel is a little bit long. OK, and then, yeah. And so there we have her in the alignment. Nice big stretch in the neck, even though that towel is there. It's OK because it's not really supporting anything. But do you have that long stretch? Actually, this one almost looks like you need a third book. So we'll. better we have there okay yeah nice and stretched lengthens chin it's parallel with the wall so then you can lay there like this for another you know 5 10 15 minutes you don't want to maybe go over 20 minutes and you'll feel more of an opening happening in this direction going back this way the other one is more back in an arch so it's a little bit different way that the body's opening, but it's all working through the spine that has the ribs attached to it. It's getting a little bit of flexibility there because we tend to bow forward and hunch forward and the shoulders come forward. So this is a good thing to do. If you do it regularly for just a really short time, you will notice a difference in how things are happening. Again, it's a muscle memory that'll be changing. So you can still feel it. You'll notice too, if you stay conscious about it, You'll notice that when you slump forward, you'll begin to catch it and lift it back up because um, you're going to be more aware of the proper feeling that this should be to be able to stand up straight and have your shoulders relaxed, um, just going along for the ride instead of thinking that you have to lift your body up with the shoulders. So then to come out of that, you just lift up, up and there you go. So like I say, you can double it up a little bit more if you need more height, or you can flatten it out a little bit more if you don't want to go quite as high if it's a little bit much. But just that little bit um, does make a difference. Thank you for watching this, and I hope that it's helping you out and giving you some different ideas about how to just take care of little aches and pains. If you do happen to try this and you feel like commenting, let us know. Both Karina and I do check the comments, so we're, we welcome them very much. And um, if you have any suggestions of what I'm, we might be able to do uh, to show you something else that you could do for yourself, just give us a request and we'll see if we can manage that. We do have some other videos coming. We have self-massaging on the foot that's getting ready to be put out. So. We're just trying to help you all, and thank you so much for viewing, and thank you so much for appreciating the work that we do. I want to invite you to explore my course, The Foundations of Subtle Alignment. Misalignment of the subtle structures is often the root cause of chronic pain, injuries, and chronically high levels of stress hormones. In this course, you will learn about the subtle anatomy, and a protocol for assessing and aligning the subtle structures.